Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Junk and Janine, back with another Goodwill Blue Box. I'm changing things up a little bit this week because um, some people were saying that they couldn't see my pieces up close, which I get, but you can't have it both ways. You can't see me and up close. So we're gonna open this Goodwill Blue Box. I actually got two this week, which is very unusual because I missed out a couple different weeks. This box is from Nashville, Tennessee, and you are gonna open it with me. Oops, sorry. And see exactly what we got here. So I'm looking at the invoice, and um, all right, so I paid $29.99 for five pounds, and then um, there was shipping of $5, so about $35 for each individual little box here. And I got two of them. All right, so we're gonna tackle one here. Make sure you can see everything good. All right, I've got all my supplies close by and let's do it. Let's get her done. Let's see, nothing like a good Goodwill box. So the treasures we're gonna find. Ooh. Okay, sorry guys, I think my video just cut off there a second, so we're just going to unbox this. I haven't touched a thing. We're gonna kind of give a quick look. I see some new with tag stuff. I see some some of the jewels. Um, oh boy, that's pretty. Wow, that's gonna be really fun. Let's let's dive right in, okay? Alright, so try to do this carefully. Alright, let's see what we got, folks. Let's see what we got. Alright, so I'm just going to push this all to the side and we're going to take it one piece at a time. Alright, so this piece is a very lightweight. It's just a fashion jewelry clip. We're going to put all earrings over here to the side. Looks like a junk bangle. I'm gonna put that in the craft pile. It's not the craft, I mean crap pile, it's the craft pile. If you guys see something that I don't that looks interesting or that you wanna buy, comment below and I'll be sure and get back to you. Now this is pretty. This is new with tags, says Crystal Avenue. I don't know how much it was, but um, cute little bangle has all of its beads it's stretchy but it's very cute very very cute i have a very thick wrist so it's unusual that um, i get a bangle that works so i will definitely sell that i will definitely sell that this is a, quite a piece look at this statement cuff um i do not see any maker on it but I think that's probably sellable. Very um, intriguing. Put that in the sell pile. Here's an earring. No maker on the back. We'll put that in the singles pile. Now here's a cute little pin. Uh, unfortunately, it's missing the pearls. Um, this rose pattern is a very vintage pattern. Uh, tell me in the comments what that's called because I know there's a name for it. I'm just not that good at jewelry yet, you guys, that I know what I'm looking at without Google. Um, does not appear to be real gold because I can see some of the plating coming off here at the at the end. Um, but it's definitely a you know vintage piece, but it's gonna have to go in the craft pile because of the missing beads. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Boy, this screams 1990. 1990 called and your bow clasp pin came. Does say USA down here. Um, don't see any other marks. It's quite heavy. Um, the finish looks fairly good. Gold finish. Put that in the cell pile. I really want to get back to that this thing here. Let's see what this was. Oh, this is just so interesting. So interesting looking. Let's see what we've got here. 
I hope it's all there. I've seen this class before, and a lot of times these are J. Crew. J. Crew necklaces, some of them can be very pricey. Oh, it is missing some of its some of its rhinestones, and that's what you get when you're doing um, a DIY box or a repurposed jewelry box. Um, but you never know, maybe these stones are in the bottom of the box. We're gonna just kinda hopefully put that to the side and see. There is a mark on the clasp, it looks like. Um, no, I take that back, there is no mark on the clasp. But it does look like some of these spring um, locks that I've had before from J. Crew. Let's look at the back. I don't see any marks on that either. All right, so well, we'll put her to the side and see if we can find those missing stones in the end. All right, so this is just junk plastic. This is gone in the crack bag. Let's see what we can untangle next. This is quite pretty. This is a brooch. Looks like all the stones are there. Uh, floral bouquet, I would probably call it, rhinestone. So let's see if we see any maker's marks. Do not see any maker's marks. That doesn't mean it's... Oh, wait, here we go. I think I'm going to get my loop out. Here's my handy-dandy loop. Yeah, so that says Coro, and Coro is a very nice uh, vintage costume jewelry maker from the mid-century 50s, 60s, and 70s, so I'll definitely sell that. All right, so this piece looks to be uh, nothing special. We'll just probably put that in a pin lot. This is quite a chunky earring. See if it says anything on it. Do not see any maker's marks, so we'll just put that in the single earring pile. All right, what do we got next? All right, so here is a bangle. I get my magnet out. I use a rare earth magnet, and I keep it in the plastic. That way I don't have to find it in the pile if that little bar attaches to something. Anyway, so this is not a magnetic, this bangle. So let me see if there's any marks. There are no marks. No marks. Um, looks to be just like an enamel. Could be, could probably just be, you know, a base metal. Nothing fantastic, but I will put it in the pile to test it. The reason I'm not testing on camera, guys, is because I'm really not good at it. I don't know what I'm looking at yet. I'm trying to learn. It's so difficult. This is just a single earring, no markings. Put it in a single earring pile. Oh, we are a little late for this little earring. Would have been cute. It says Avon on the back. Would have been cute for St. Patrick's Day. Maybe we'll have a match in here with it. Let's see if we can get to something good. All right, so this little, uh, let's see if I can change this around a little. Oh, no. I think that's as good as it's going to get, guys. Um, let's see. It's kind of braided, a uh, little bangle. The clasp looks old, honestly. So I'll investigate that a little further. Put that in the investigate pile. All right, here's just a crappy earring. All right, let's see what this is. What's this? What is this? What are you? You appear to be a Hershey's Kiss. Look at that. It's a Hershey Kiss. And it has a tag. It shows a crown. Sure, if you can see that crown, Let's see. Uh, 
Uh, so I don't know if that means Crown Trafari, Juicy Couture, I'm not sure. But it definitely says um, Kisses on the side of the little Hershey Kiss. And just an interesting little bracelet. Okay, we probably sell that. Now here's an interesting ring. Pretty, pretty ring. Um, let's see if we see any markings. No markings. Probably just plated. Probably nothing, but we'll put it to the side. <sighs> Boy, she's missing something, don't you think? No markings, so I'm going to put that in the craft pile. Okay, let's see what else we can untangle here. Untangle me. Oh, I should have seen if this magnetizes this ring. No, no magnet. What about this? This does not, yeah, this does magnetize. So I didn't expect that to be silver, though, honestly. All right, let's see what we got here. This little earring looks like it's just attached himself to this piece. This pendant is not marked. It's just a, probably a acetate, uh, I mean acrylic stone. Nothing special. Let's see if I can get it untangled here. It has a barrel magnet clasp, it looks like. Let's see. Yeah. So, very modern. Not anything that I'm going to do anything with. So, it'll probably just go in, in a lot. I don't need to even really undo it. Um, definitely not gold because it does magnetize all right so it's just gonna go you are just gonna go bye bye oh this is interesting um so this has some really sparkly stones oh it's missing one stone there but we'll see what's at the bottom you never know let's see if there's any markings on this brooch No markings on the brooch. So, I'm going to put it aside to see if possibly the stones are in the bottom. If not, it's going to have to go to the craft pile. And what craft pile means, guys, is that we lot up a box of the stuff and we put it on sale um, as a craft bundle, which means that you can take apart the beads and make all kinds of fun stuff. People make pictures and all kinds of cool things out of craft beads. All right, so this piece is very pretty. It's multi-layer, kind of, um, they're definitely plastic beads. Um, they are not marked, but they're cute. Um, I do see a lot of wear though. I'm just seeing a little further here. That's like really worn. So I'm gonna put that in the craft pile. I'm not gonna sell that. Oh, this is pretty. What do we got here? What do we have here? Let's see. What are you? What are you, darling? What are you? You are very pretty. I think you are very pretty. Very pretty. I think those are glass beads. There is a, it says M on it. Not sure if that's a modern Monet or who that is. So I will look that up later. If you know who it is, let me know. Save me a, a Google trip. But this looks to be in nice condition and we will sell that.
Okay, we got another pin here. We're really hot on the pins today. This looks like it has all its stones. Um, do not see any maker's mark. But it is cute. I think we could probably sell that. I think it's made to look tarnished black. I don't think it's silver, but we'll put that in a sale pile. Okay, I got a bangle here and it clearly magnetizes, so it's going in the craft pile. All right, what is this? This reminds me of Coro's Moon Glow. Let's see if it is marked. Isn't that pretty? Nice bracelet. Looks like it's all there. Um, does have wear here. Nice vintage piece though. Um, let me look through my loop and see if there's any maker's mark. No, I do not see any maker marks. So, I don't know, this is pretty worn. I might might try to sell it. It's very vintagey. Again, if there's something that you see you, that you know information about, don't hesitate to leave me a comment below or um, email me in the comment section. Um, also, right below my video is the like and subscribe button, guys. So please, I'm new. I'm just trying to learn jewelry. Just trying to build my subscribers and have some fun so please like and subscribe and hit the little bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video huh. you know do i even want to retangle the untangle this i don't see any reason to really untangle it it is not it's very light it's not marked let's see if it yeah we're just going to put that in the craft pile that makes some pretty beads. Right. Oh, well, this is interesting. This is a ring. Ring will fly away. Fly away. It is an adjustable ring. In good condition. No marks, but it is a nice flying eagle. Um, all the stones are there. I think he's, he's, he's sellable. I sell on Poshmark only, guys. I don't sell on eBay. I've been there, done that long time ago. And I just don't care to go back down the eBay route. Um, I do like the fact that Poshmark doesn't charge fees to list. So I can list whatever I want. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. No big deal. All right, so these are just some vintage plastic beads. Uh, I'll probably go in a lot of necklaces in the section below the video I also have some links to uh, my jewelry testing kit that I use on um, to test gold silver diamonds um, this is quite cute this is a seed bead choker it is braided it is in good condition and uh, no maker's marks, but it's uh, definitely sellable. Very cute. We will sell that. Come here, darlings. Come here, darlings. This is just a beaded bracelet, and I will end up putting a bunch of bracelets in a lot. Speaking of bracelets, these are kind of bracelets and big earrings that I'm going to just put in the craft box. Now this one doesn't magnetize. What are you? What are you, darling? Are you anything? Does not appear to be anything. It's a very cute closure. Um, I don't know. It uh, 
probably will just go in a lot. I don't see anything that's special about it. Okay, we're at 18 minutes. I really want to get um, quite a few more pieces in here. Oh, that's cute. Two airplanes, is it? Whoops. Is it two airplanes? Yeah. There's a plane there and a plane there. And they both, uh, they both have stones. It is not marked that I can see. Unless there's something right there. Look at my loop. No, just a, looks like the middle. Nothing special. Okay, so we will sell that. Cute little biplanes into the airplane. Biplane, airplane. Lots of little singles in this batch, guys. Here's a ring. Looks like a signet ring. It's very worn, um, but it doesn't have anything on it, like initials or something that are usually on there. Um, it does magnetize, so it's just going to go into a lot. Maybe it's pewter. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Well, isn't that interesting? Baseball, stretchy. Now, go into our stretchy bead bracelet lot. Let's see if I see anything else interesting here. This is also a moon glow kind of stone. Um, very pretty pin. I do not see any markings. They're very vintage and very cute does show some wear on the plating, but I'd probably sell that one. Feels like I'm just pulling out pens, guys. This is a very pretty earring. I don't know if the other earring is here somewhere, but I will put that in the single earring pile. Single earring pile. Oh, here, where are you? Okay, this is just plastic junk. Literal, literal. Okay, let's see what we got here. An earring attached to this that doesn't need to be there. And an earring up here that doesn't need to be there. I hate untangling this all on video, guys. I'm sorry. So I'm just going to slide it to the side and move on. Cute little pearl there. Probably a freshwater pearl. Um, very cute. Just on a little rubber necklace. That's a very interesting beaded earring. I hope the other one's in there. We'll see. Very cute. Well, that's interesting. A one dollar coin glued to something that came apart. Well, I guess I can always just break it off and have my dollar, right? I think I'll probably do that. That's Nothing we need to keep. Nothing we need to keep. Here's some more onesie earrings. All right, so this is interesting. It's kind of crocheted or something. Um, bracelets. I think it's a little misshapen. So I'm just going to put that in a lot. All right, what is this here? This is a super duper clasp, guys. Um, does not appear to be anything 
that is marked or anything like that. Doesn't appeal like appear to be sterling. Although it doesn't magnetize. Hmm. I don't think any of that's anything. I'm gonna put that in the craft pile too. Here is a bangle, kind of enamel, in decent shape. Nothing wrong with that bangle, no markings, so we will probably sell that in a lot. All right, let's get some winners here, guys. Let's get some winners. Let's wait for some winners. Well, here might be a winner, let's see. Okay, that is marked. See what it's marked. It's kind of wrapped up here in this pearl bracelet. Let's see if it's even worth untangling. Okay, this says 18 karat MD or M I D V I A N T. I don't know. It does say 18 karat though. Look at that. So I will detangle and test this little piece. It's quite cute. Let's hope it's 18 karat. I'm so excited to have found 18 karat that I'm almost tempted to try to test it on video with you guys. Um, but gosh, I'm just not good at it. I don't know if it takes practice or I just don't know what I'm looking at. Um, but I'll tell you what, live and learn, right? All right, so I think I see maybe, well, was there a stone originally in that? It doesn't, maybe it, ah, okay, so I get it now. That little stone goes inside of that stone shape. And it's knotted, but we're going to try to test it, okay? We shall see. All right, so I've got my 18K test solution. I've got my stone. Let's see if this can read anything. Right. Since it's big and knotted there, I'll probably test that. All right, here it goes, guys. Be brave with me. Definitely looks like gold. You tell me. I mean, bubble in there. It's not dissolving. I think that's 18 karat gold. Can you see that? It's not dissolving the line. I'm thinking we got a winner, winner, chicken dinner here. I'm going to have to spend some time untangling this and researching it. So, we found some gold, guys. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that great? I'm so excited. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right. Tune into the next video. I'm going to um, finish getting to the rest of the pile over here. We've kind of only gone through that pile. And uh, so tune into the next one. We'll see if we can find some more gold. Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update. I got so excited about this 18 karat gold necklace that I just got out of the Goodwill blue box that I didn't test it for diamonds. So I got my diamond tester out here and let's do it together. Are you ready? Well, it says moissanite on that try, but I may, I don't think I got it on the right stone. Hang on one more second. Green, diamond baby, diamond. Winner, winner, chicken dinner out of a gold Goodwill blue box in Nashville. Thank you, bye.